for the first method, head over to search and type in services, click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on any service and click on W on our keyboard. Then we're going to scroll down until we find WLAN auto config. You want to right click on it and then click on start. And then we're going to right click on it again, click on properties and then make sure that the startup type is on automatic and click on OK. If it was already automatic and running, then you want to right click on it and click on restart. But if restart is blanked out, then just click on start. If that's still not working for the second method, we're going to right click on the Windows Start icon, then click on Device Manager. Once you're on it, we're going to expand Network Adapters, and then you want to look for something that will be on screen right now. It should say Wireless on it or just something similar to this. For me, I don't have it because I'm using the Ethernet cable, but once you find it, you want to right click on it, and then click on Update Driver, and then click on Search Automatically for Drivers. See if the best one is installed. If it has been installed, we're going to close this out, and then you want to right click on it, and then click on Disable Device, and then you want to right click on it again, and then click on Enable Device when that comes up. If that's still not working, then you want to right click on it again, click on update driver, but this time we're going to click on browse my computer for drivers, click on let me pick from a list, and then you want to download everything that will come up here, and click on next and see if that works. For the last method, we're going to head over to search and type in system configuration, click on it. Once you're on it, you want to click on services, and then you want to click on enable all and click on ok. If it's greyed out for you like it is for me, click on disable all, and then you want to click on enable all and then click on ok. After you do this, restart your computer and the problem should be fixed.